Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace his Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the occasion of returning to Bahrain after his visit to Qatar and his Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa on the occasion of returning to Bahrain after visiting Kuwait, during which they met with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamid Al Thani, respectively. The Royal Highness has briefed His Majesty the King on the positive outcomes of the visits, which will benefit Bahrain. Kuwait and Qatar. His Majesty praised these results that serve the relations between the three countries, noting that they will further advance joint cooperation and integration, which supports the GCC march. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace Housing Minister Basim bin Yaqub Al Hamar and a number of the ministry's affiliates. The meeting was also attended by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King greeted the minister and the ministry's affiliates and expressed his pleasure in meeting them. His Majesty commended the sincere efforts of the Ministry of Housing and the application of Bahrain policies in the field of allocating social housing and its continuous commitment over four decades in delivering and upgrading its housing services with the aim of providing a decent livelihood for Bahraini families. He also extended his thanks to the ministry for their ongoing attempts in reducing the citizens' waiting lists through diversifying housing options and providing multiple solutions, most notably involving the private sector and encouraging it to contribute to the urban development and construction of modern cities. His Majesty affirmed that development of the social housing sector shall remain at the center of the Bahraini government's interests, which is evident in the ambitious plans and projects that aim towards urban sustainable development that are in line with international standards.
عمر محمد مظفر The meeting commenced with the recital of verses from the Holy Quran. حتى إذا جاءوها وفتحت أبوابها وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم وقال لهم خزنتها سلام عليكم طبتم فدخلوها خالدين وقالوا الحمد لله الذي صدقنا وعده وأورثنا الأرض نتبوأ من الجنة حيث نشاء فنعم أجر العاملين وترى الملائكة حافظ من حول العرش يسبحون يسبحون بحمد ربهم وقضي بينهم بالحق وقيل الحمد لله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم يتشرف سعادة المهندس باسم بن يعقوب الحمر وزير الإسكان بإلقاء هذه الكلمة. The housing minister delivered a speech in which he expressed his deep thanks and appreciation to the leadership for their keen interest in the social housing issues that undoubtedly contributed to maximizing the efforts that aim to achieve His Majesty's vision of providing the best housing services to the citizens in the shortest span of time. al Hamar stated that His Majesty's directives of making the humanitarian cases a priority comes at the forefront of the ministry's current strategy. He also stated that the housing sector is witnessing developments in executing new cities' plans as well as housing complexes and all governorates of Bahrain. The housing minister assented that this development is the result of the continuous achievements made over the past 50 years in providing housing services to the citizens, which began in the past 60s of the past century. He concluded by expressing his honor in meeting his majesty the king, emphasizing that such meetings would provide the ministry affiliates with more determination in resolving the social housing issues in spite of its complex nature. من رعاية ودعم لا محدود لوزارة الإسكان بشكل عام والملف الإسكاني بشكل خاص أسهم بلا شك في تحفيز جهودنا وإثراء الخطط الإسكانية الرامية إلى تحقيق تطلعات جلالتكم لتوفير أفضل الخدمات الإسكانية لمواطني المملكة من ذوي الدخل المحدود وفي أقصر مدة ممكنة إن أمر جلالتكم السامي يا صاحب الجلالة بتنفيذ المشاريع الإسكانية في أقصر مدة ممكنة وإعطاء الأولوية القصوى للحالات الإنسانية والتي تحظى برعاية كريمة ومستمرة من قبل الديوان الملكي وما تبع ذلك من توجيهاتكم السديدة بالإسراع في, توجي في توزيع هذه الوحدات المستحقيها هو عنوان المرحلة الإسكانية الحالية حيث إنه وبعد صدور أمر جلالتكم وبفضل من المولى عز وجل يشهد الملف الإسكاني تطورا كبيرا سواء على صعيد تنفيذ مشاريع مدن البحرين الجديدة ومشاريع المجمعات السكنية في جميع محافظات ومدن وقرى المملكة وتطورا في حجم التوزيعات الإسكانية التي تقوم الوزارة بتنفيذها فضلا عن التقدم الكبير الذي تم إنجازه على صعيد الشراكة مع القطاع الخاص وما هذا التطور يا صاحب الجلالة إلا شاهدا على استمرار عجلة الإنجازات التي تحققت على مدار ما يقارب نصف قرن 
من تقديم الخدمات الإسكانية للمواطنين والتي بدأت منذ ستينيات القرن الماضي وشهدت تقديم أكثر من 125 ألف خدمة إسكانية لمواطني المملكة حتى منتصف العقد الحالي كل ذلك ترجمة واضحة للرؤية المستقبلية للقيادة الرشيدة منذ ذلك الوقت وحتى عهدكم الزاهر نحو مجتمعات مستدامة تحظى بكافة الخدمات الأساسية والمرافق فكان نموذج مشروع مدينة عيسى هو النواة الأولى لهذه الرؤية تلاه بعد ذلك مشروع مدينة حمد في حقبة الثمانينيات ثم مدينة زايد في فترة التسعينيات لتتلاحق الإنجازات لحلحلة الملف الإسكاني وما مشروع المدينة الشمالية ومشروع شرق الحد ومدينة شرق سترة وإسكان المحافظة الجنوبية وإسكان الرملي إلا شاهداً على ذلك وما سبق ذكره من مشاريع ما هو إلا حجر الزاوية في خطة الوزارة وبرامجها الرامية إلى تنفيذ أمر جلالتكم السامي سيدي صاحب الجلالة أن الملف الإسكاني ومنذ عام 2011 يشهد ولله الحمد ازدهارا ونموا بفضل الرعاية الملكية وما يمثل حقبة جديدة في تاريخ الإسكان بالمملكة فلقد تم تنفيذ أكثر من 17 ألف وحدة سكنية في جميع المحافظات والقرى وذلك منذ صدور أمر جلالتكم السامي عام 2013 لسد الاحتياجات الإسكانية حيث تتنوع نسب الإنجاز بها إلى مشاريع مكتملة وأخرى قيد التنفيذ وأخرى سيتم الشروع بتنفيذها قريبا فيما تم وبحمد الله توزيع أكثر من 9000 وحدة سكنية خلال هذه الفترة كما شهد الملف الإسكاني يا صاحب الجلالة تفعيل أولى مبادرات الشراكة مع القطاع الخاص لتنفيذ مشاريع إسكانية في المدينة الشمالية ومنطقة اللوزي بالإضافة إلى تدشين برنامج مزايا فضلاً عن إطلاق مشروع ديرة العيون بديار المحرك وهي مبادرات استطاعت أن تحقق تقدماً كبيراً مكملة لجهود الحكومة الموقرة الهادفة إلى تحقيق تطلعات ورؤى جلالتكم وختاماً إن شرف مقابلتكم لنا يا صاحب الجلالة يمنحنا بمشيئة الله مزيداً من العزم والإصرار رغم طبيعة الملف الإسكاني بظروفه الحالية متطلعين إلى كرم جلالتكم بما عهدنا من رعاية سامية وتوجيه ودعم فلكم منا يا صاحب الجلالة عظيم الشكر والعرفان سائلين المولى أن يحفظكم ويحفظ مملكتنا الحبيبة ويسدد على طريق الخير خطاكم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hamar then presented His Majesty with a commemorative gift. His Majesty the King held a lunch banquet in honor of the ministry's affiliates.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa received a telephone call from the Foreign Minister of the United States, Rex Tillerson. His Majesty highlighted the historic bilateral relations and expressed his aspiration to further enhance these relations, as well as to maintain the security and stability of the region. He praised the role of the U.S. President Donald Trump in developing these relations with Bahrain and the region, wishing the U.S. and its people further progress and prosperity. The Foreign Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the services of His Majesty to the Fifth Fleet by facilitating their tasks in maintaining security and stability in the region. He also affirmed the vital role Bahrain plays in maintaining safety and stability in the area. He praised the openness of the kingdom and the progress witnessed in all fields, expressing aspiration for more joint action in various fields, especially in security, stability and combating terrorism. He wished His Majesty abundant health and the kingdom and its people for the progress and prosperity. His Royal the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, departed Qatar today after concluding an official visit. During the visit, His Royal held a meeting with His Highness the Emir, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa al-Thani, to discuss means of further developing bilateral relations. His Royal was seen off by Qatar's Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser al-Thani. His Royal the Prime Minister sent a cable of appreciation to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad al-Thani, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the hospitality he received during his official visit to Qatar, which reflects the deep-rooted Bahraini-Qatari relations. He stated that the visit will enhance coordination and cooperation on Gulf and Arab levels. His Rohan has hailed the development of Qatar under the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Tamim. He wished him abundant health and success and Qatar further development and prosperity. Prince Khalifa sent a similar cable to His Highness the Emir Father, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the hospitality he received during his official visit to Qatar, which reflects the deep rooted Bahraini Qatari relations. His Rohanis highlighted the friendly relations between the people of the two countries. His Rohanis, the Prime Minister, wished His Highness Sheikh Hamad abundant health and success and Qatar further development and prosperity. His Rohanis sent another cable of appreciation to the personal representative of His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the hospitality he received during the official visit to Qatar, which reflects the deep-rooted bilateral relations. His Rohan has stated that the visit will develop coordination and cooperation between the two countries in various fields. The Premier sent a cable to Qatar's Prime Minister and Minister of Interior, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the hospitality he received during his visit to Qatar, which reflects the deep-rooted Bahraini-Qatari relations. His Rohan has noted the Qatari Prime Minister's keenness in developing cooperation between the two countries for the benefit of their friendly people. His Rohanis uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received earlier today at his residence in the Qatari capital Doha the personal representative of the Emir of Qatar Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Rohanis expressed pleasure in visiting Qatar in which he discussed means of developing the historic relations between the two countries. He stressed that Bahraini Qatari relations witness a continuous development that embodies their interests in enhancing cooperation in various sectors. During the meeting, the two parties discussed the outstanding brotherly relations and methods of developing cooperation. For his part, Sheikh Jassim hailed His Royal Highness's visit, affirming that it will enhance cooperation between the two countries. He commended His Royal Highness's efforts in developing cooperation between the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, which reflects his wise vision and leadership that supports integration between the GCC. He praised His Royal Highness's role in the development the Kingdom witnesses in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received earlier today at his residence in the Qatari capital Doha the Prime Minister and the Minister of Interior of Qatar Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser Al Thani. During the meeting, the two parties reviewed the brotherly relations between the two countries and the methods of enhancing them in the economic and development fields. His Royal Highness and his Qatari counterpart affirmed that the solid ties between the two countries form a model of effective cooperation based on deep-rooted historic foundations. They also expressed keenness on developing bilateral cooperation and 
coordination. His Rohanis expressed pleasure in visiting Qatar and the fruitful talks held with the Qatari leadership, expressing thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome he received, which represents the solid ties between the two countries. He hailed the development of bilateral ties which stem from the mutual keenness on enhancing cooperation. For his part, the Qatari Prime Minister welcomed his Rohanis to Qatar, commending his Rohanis' role in enhancing cooperation between the two countries and his efforts in developing joint Gulf work. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received earlier today at his residence in the Qatari capital Doha the Qatari Shura Council Chairman Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the two parties discussed methods of cooperation between the two countries. His Royal Highness hailed the development of Bahraini Qatari relations that embodies the two countries' keenness on developing cooperation. He noted the importance of enhancing cooperation based on a unified goal and destiny. He highlighted the role of legislators in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries in supporting the efforts of comprehensive development and enhancing their ability in facing various economic, political and security challenges in the region. He also noted that his visit provided an opportunity to meet the Qatari leadership and discuss bilateral relations, stressing the importance of increasing visits and meetings between senior officials in the two countries to enhance cooperation. For his part, the Qatari Shura Council chairman expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to developing bilateral relations, affirming that the visit embodies the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries. He also he also commended His Royal Highness's wise vision and extensive expertise that contributed to the development of Bahrain and to the support of the Joint Gulf March in various fields. His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa departed today to Bahrain after concluding an official visit to Kuwait. The official visit provided a positive opportunity for His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to meet the Kuwaiti leadership and discuss bilateral relations, regional issues of interest and ways to advance bilateral cooperation across a wide range of areas. His Highness the Crown Prince of Kuwait, Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, Kuwait's National Assembly Speaker, Marzouk Ali Al Ghanim, Prime Minister of Kuwait, Sheikh Jabir Lambarak Al Hamid Al Sabah, the ambassadors of both countries and a number of senior Kuwaiti officials attended the departure ceremony. During the official visit, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was accompanied by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and a number of Bahraini ministers and senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a cable of appreciation to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the hospitality he and his accompanying delegation received during their visit to Kuwait. His Royal Highness praised the cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait and their developing relations under the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. He also noted the efforts exerted to strengthen the integration of the GCC for the benefit of all people. His Royal Highness also praised the role of Kuwait in supporting Arab solidarity and defending Arab and Islamic causes. Prince Salman also wished His Highness the Emir of Kuwait abundant health and success and the the people of Kuwait for their progress and prosperity.
The Crown Prince sent a similar cable to his Kuwaiti counterpart, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the hospitality he and his accompanying delegation received during their official visit to Kuwait. His Royal Highness hailed the meeting he had previously held with His Highness the Crown Prince of Kuwait, which affirmed the keenness of both parties to develop coordination and cooperation in various fields. His Royal Highness wished His Highness Sheikh Nawaf further success in Kuwait further development. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Jabbar Al-Mbarak Al Hamad Al Sabah, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the hospitality he and his accompanying delegation received during his official visit to Kuwait. His Royal Highness noted the Kuwaiti Prime Minister's keenness on developing Bahraini-Kuwaiti relations in all fields. He wished the Kuwaiti Prime Minister success and Kuwait further development and prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the team of Al Ahli Club for achieving first place in the Arab Club's Volleyball Championship. His Highness pointed out that this achievement is evidence of the significant development the Bahraini sports scene is witnessing due to the care it receives from the leadership and their constant efforts to provide a suitable environment for the clubs to develop their competition skills, which would reflect positively on Bahrain's status and the international sports arena. He also added that this achievement is a result of the professionalism of the club's board members and the team members who showcase their high skills and enthusiasm to represent the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Honor Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports is keen on supporting Bahraini clubs to take part in international competitions to achieve similar outstanding results that would prove the significant development of Bahraini athletes. He also asserted the Council's support to the clubs in order to advance all administrative and technical systems which will ensure further gains. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the West Asian Athletics Federation and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Honor Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the President, Council and team members of Al Ahli Club for achieving first place in the 35th Arab Club's Volleyball Championship. Al Ahli team defeated Al Jaish team of Qatar with a score of 3-2 to two rounds. His Highness stressed that they earned this victory after delivering an outstanding performance in this championship. He also highlighted that this accomplishment has been achieved for the second time in the team's history of participations. He also stressed that Al-Ahli's achievement in the championship reflects the development of the Bahraini volleyball field due to the support from the wise leadership to the youth and sports sector and the outstanding efforts, strategies and programs of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Honor Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, that aimed to raise the technical level of all sports and make more Bahraini achievements in various athletic competitions. He praised the high technical performance of the Ahli team in the final match and the strong performance of the players, which reflect the efforts of the club's council, administrative and technical members in preparing the teams and achieving positive results. His Highness said that the final match was filled with excitement and power for both teams but ended in favor of Al-Ahli. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the Bahraini and Arab associations chaired by Ali bin Mohammed Al-Khalifa and all working committees for organizing this championship in the kingdom which showcased the event and turned it into a success. His Highness wished the association luck in organizing upcoming championships that will help enhance the level of volleyball in the Arab world. 
The Interior Minister, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, deputized the Chief of Public Security, Major General Tariq Al Hassan, to attend a celebration organized by the General Directorate of Civil Defense on the occasion of World Civil Defense Day. The Chief of Public Security affirmed that the ministry always follows up on recent updates and developments. He stressed the importance of taking the necessary measures and preparations to face all current and future challenges. He noted the minister's directives to prepare a new strategic project to develop the civil defense body for the next phase. He stressed the importance of the humanitarian message of civil defense and highlighted the progress witnessed in Bahrain in all fields, which requires a high level of readiness and professionalism in order to support the progress made. He added that the main role of the General Directorate of Civil Defense is to deter riots, sabotage and terrorism and to support the efforts of the National Disaster Management Committee to coordinate with all ministries and organizations. He explained the civil defense members have always faced climate variability and natural disasters, noting that on this day, the world recalls the sacrifices of the civil defense members and their role in protecting lives and possessions. The Director General of Civil Defense hailed the support of the Interior Minister and his follow-up with the Chief of Public Security, noting that this support contributed to the development of the Directorate on the level of mechanisms and caters. He added that the Directorate had developed a level of performance and involved a number of national sectors to enhance partnership between various authorities. The ceremony included the honoring of a number of officers and members of the civil defense as well as a number of the directorate's partners from industrial companies. In the presence of the finance minister and chairman of the Bahraini delegation participating in the joint Bahraini-Turkish committee meeting in Ankara, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Economic Development Board, the EDB, held a reception ceremony in honor of the Turkish economic delegation. The ceremony was attended by both countries' delegations who are participating in the meetings of the joint Bahraini-Turkish committee as well as representatives of over 140 Turkish companies. EDB CEO Khalid Umar Ramahi announced that at the ceremony, the establishment of an office for the Economic Development Board in Turkey which will strengthen the bilateral economic relations and increase investment cooperation between both countries. The office is part of the board's efforts to promote the business environment in the Kingdom of Bahrain and to attract investment in the Kingdom. On this occasion, the finance minister asserted the importance of establishing an EDB office based on the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan to enhance ties with Turkish businesses and attract Turkish investments to Bahrain's economy. He noted the importance of the sixth joint Bahraini-Turkish committee meeting at the Turkish capital which comes within the framework of exchanged visits between His Majesty the King and the Turkish President and the keenness of both countries to support bilateral cooperation in economic and financial fields. Sheikh Ahmed stressed the need for a positive outcome that would enhance economic cooperation between both countries and reflect the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two leaderships. He noted the important role of institutions in the public and private sectors in Bahrain in hosting meetings with their Turkish counterparts to exchange experiences and ideas about the best means to create joint projects and investments in the near future.